Good morning all. I'm playing Power Stations today. Uh, it's just a bit of fun really. I've got um, my super capacitor bank. It's uh, six 120 farad super capacitors in series on a board which has protection components on it. And uh, that's being charged via this connector here from a solar panel which is outside. Now this is one of these little soppy battery maintainer panels. It's supposed to keep your 12 volt lead acid battery uh, topped up. It's notionally 2.4 watts at about 17 volts. In fact, let's bring it in and take a look at the uh, label on the back. Uh, yeah, so this came from Maplin quite a long time ago. I've had this quite a while, but they're a bit useless, so I don't use it much. But uh, yeah, 2.4 watts at 17.5 volts. Well, actually, that's pretty good for the super capacitor bank because that's uh, 2.7 volts per capacitor times 6. I seem to remember that's 16.8 volts. So when that thing is getting uh, near to fully charged, this solar panel should start developing maximum power. Now, that super capacitor module is a long way from being fully charged. Uh, in fact, it's going down in voltage because the solar panel is upside down in the room. I need to put it back outside, pointing at the sky. Uh, no sun today, I'm afraid. It's overcast, so we're not getting uh, a lot of power from the solar panel, but we're getting some. And uh, with the solar panel back outside, looking up at the sky, um, yes, this supercapacitor bank is now charging again. So that's up to 3.8 volts. Like I say, that should go up to 16.8. Actually a bit more, because I seem to remember those protection circuits kick in a bit late. Now, also connected to that supercapacitor bank, I've got one of these. It's an LTC3780, I think that's what it's called. Um, buck boost converter. And it's got its fault LED on. Uh, because I think it's saying that the input is not sufficient, not sufficient voltage for it to start generating an output. Um, I've just looked on eBay and they reckon that um, the minimum voltage on the input there is 5 volts and we've only got 3.9. So I'm just wondering whether that thing will burst into life when it gets 5 volts on its input and this output LED will come on. Currently on the output of the buck boost converter, we've got zero volts. Now, the first thing I wanted to know was, is it safe to leave that panel 2.4 watts permanently connected to this supercapacitor bank um, with only those protection components to prevent the capacitors going over voltage? Because that solar panel can get up to about 20 volts open circuit. And I reckon it is because these um, resistor pairs, these what, what say 100 on them, they're 10 ohm resistors in parallel, so that's 5 ohms, and you've got uh, V squared over that, so 2.7 squared, possibly even 2.8 squared, is in excess of 1 watt. So that total board can dissipate um, 6 watts at least, more than that probably, and the panel is only 2.5 watts, so there's no way that panel is going to kill this supercapacitor bank. This uh, bank with its protection circuits can prevent itself from going over circuit, over voltage, I mean. Right, the uh, supercapacitor bank is now at four volts. Um, I happen to know that this meter at four volts goes to two decimal places. So we've lost a decimal place, so it appears to be counting up slower, but it's not, that's it beeping to say that it's going to switch itself off any moment. Um, so yes, I'm still waiting for that to get to the 5 volts that this power supply allegedly needs to turn its output on. Whether it actually will at 5 volts uh, is another question. Now I think these buck boost converters are set to 12 volts when they're shipped from the factory. That's one of my DVMs gone off. Uh, actually, they've both gone off. Um, so what uh, the reason I'm using this is because the voltage on that supercapacitor bank is currently 4 volts. When it gets up to 5, this thing should be able to provide 12. 
And then as the voltage on that supercapacitor bank varies between 5 volts and its maximum, which is about 17 volts, this uh, buck boost converter will hold the output at a constant 12 volts so I can use it for something uh, actually useful. That's really the main difference between uh, a supercapacitor bank and something like a lead acid battery. The supercapacitor bank uh, has a voltage directly proportional to its uh, state of charge. So the voltage is constantly dropping, unlike a battery, which tends to drop at the beginning and then sits at sort of uh, le fairly level voltage for most of its uh, discharge and then drops off rapidly again at the end. This thing is going to drop linearly, uh, continuously, and therefore we need this uh, boost or buck converter to maintain a constant voltage at the output uh, even though the input voltage is falling uh, continuously. Right, something interesting has happened. At 4.4 volts on the supercapacitor bank and that doesn't appear to be climbing. Maybe it is slowly. Um, the output LED, this blue LED, has come on. It is kind of flickering. Uh, the fault LED is also still on and the DVM measuring, yes that is going up 4.41, but the DVM on the right is measuring 3.4 volts and climbing. And I'm not sure where the pots are set on this thing. So I'll wait until the input voltage gets up to a more reasonable voltage, let's say 5 volts, and then we'll see what's happening on the output. Now I'm trying to remember what these pots do. I think this near this one that's nearest to the output actually adjusts the output voltage. I've put a little light bulb on there now. Oh, look at that. We've got some sunshine. Does that mean that the voltage is shooting up really quickly? Yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, so I think the, the one in the middle is current limit. And the one at this end um, adjusts the cutoff voltage where the thing shuts down and says fault. So if I undo that one, I should be able to get that light to come on with five volts on the input. Keep undoing it until the fault condition goes away. Yes, there we are. Now, of course, when the light comes on, that voltage plummets on the supercapacitor bank and that light won't stay on long as that voltage falls down, that light will go off. But it's just occurred to me that that light is a constant wattage. I think it's one watt. And if I let the supercapacitor bank get up to the max power point of the solar panel, which is the high end of the voltage, that solar panel should develop under full sun um, in excess of two watts. So it should be able to keep that light on permanently without it doing that and going off and this voltage falling down. Of course, that's now going to start creeping back up. So really what I want to do is get this um, supercapacitor bank up to a higher voltage and then the solar panel should be able to sustain having that uh, lamp on all the time. The point is that solar panel will only produce um, 2.4 watts at its max power voltage, which was 17 and a half volts. So it'll only do that if its voltage is able to be 17 and a half volts. And it's not at the moment because the capacitor voltage is holding it down. Now that panel won't miraculously generate more current when it generates less voltage. It doesn't work like a DC to DC converter. The current, maximum current, is limited. And so at lower and lower voltages, it will develop less and less power. So yes, I need to get this supercapacitor bank up to a higher voltage to let that panel generate its uh, maximum power. The problem I've got is that um, because the sun's gone back in now, that panel's developing so little power, it's taking ages to get the um, supercapacitor voltage to come up. Now I've turned that left-hand pot fully clockwise, uh, screwed it right down in other words, which should um, mean that this thing has its fault light on and doesn't enable the output at a much higher voltage. So I'm hoping to let the supercapacitor bank climb up to a much higher voltage. Um, I mean, hopefully in excess of 12 volts. I'm not sure what the range of that battery protect pot is. I think that's what the left-hand pot does. 
it protects, um, I suppose, notionally lead acid batteries from going under voltage. Right, well now the sun's come out now and uh, this is going a bit quicker. It's up to 10 volts now and what I'm doing is I'm just periodically adjusting this uh, low voltage lockout pot, this one nearest to the fault light, uh, to make the bulb go off so that I can gradually take this nearer and nearer to the supercapacitor's uh, maximum voltage which is nominally 16.8 but uh, maybe 17 or even possibly 18. So we had a period of sustained sun and uh, the capacitor voltage got up to about 16 and a half volts but that's actually dropping now and I suspect that's because the panel which is now in shade uh, is not actually holding its voltage up above 16 volts. So the small amount of consumption of this uh, power supply, this switch mode buck boost converter, is actually now draining the supercapacitor and its voltage is falling. Of course that'll change when the sun comes out and it is due to come out again fairly soon. So let's see if we can push this supercapacitor voltage up high enough to start turning on these little blue uh, protection LEDs. Right, this is up to 16.3 volts and some of the protection blue LEDs on the uh, supercapacitor board are starting to come on. They've all gone off again now, uh, but I imagine they'll be on back on again quite soon. Right, 16.7 volts and those blue LEDs are starting to come on. I've uh, got three of them on now. The voltage, of course, starts to drop away because those resistors on that board are now consuming the power. So those LEDs are going to just be almost randomly coming on and off to protect the supercapacitors that are at the higher voltages. They're all at slightly different voltages. And that's holding the supercapacitor pack at about 16 and a half volts or somewhere around there. And uh, now I've got a situation where the lamp is on and I've had to drop the brightness a bit. Oh, that's my meter gone off. That's inconvenient, isn't it? Uh, I've had to drop the brightness of that bulb a bit, but there is now enough power coming from the solar panel, which is in full sun to have the voltage on the supercapacitor rising even with that load switched on. That's assuming of course that the supercapacitor doesn't switch its own protection circuits on. None of them are on at the moment. So yes, with maximum power coming from that solar panel or very close to it, we can sustain that uh, little filament lamp and have a rising voltage on the supercapacitor. This is great fun, isn't it? A little supercapacitor power system, power bank. Right, we've got one of the blue LEDs come on now, so the supercapacitor voltage is falling. And a little lamp, not much of a lamp admittedly, but uh, if I scaled this whole system up with a bigger solar panel, and uh, more of these supercapacitor banks, maybe I'll buy some more of those. Then I could have uh, more stored power and the ability to draw more power out from the buck boost converter and drive a bigger load than that 100 milliamp uh, bulb. Right, I've turned that bulb brighter now and it was remaining illuminated with the supercapacitor voltage going up it's not going up anymore, it's going down. But that's only because the sun went in. Oh, it's come back out again. So will it be able to hold the bulb's brightness and take the capacitor voltage up? Uh, e kind of, almost, but not quite. Oh, the sun's gone in again. It's partially cloudy. Story of my life really, isn't it? This hopeless cloud situation. But yeah, certainly um, with a higher supercapacitor voltage, the solar panel delivers more power and can sustain the load 
and keep the capacitor voltage up. Sun's come back out now and the capacitor voltage is going up. Well this is great fun and not a lead acid battery in sight. So that's great fun. I've uh, had a very enjoyable day today uh, with what little sunshine there was. Well there's been a little bit. Uh, playing around with this super capacitor bank, uh, the buck boost converter to ensure that we get a steady voltage output of should be around 12 volts for that lamp uh, irrespective of the super capacitor voltage which has been today anything from about 5 volts up to 16.6 uh, .6 where it is now and this is the sort of thing I want the um, Mediterranean workshop for so that I've got nice consistent sun and I can play around with this sort of experiment I really do enjoy mucking around with solar power Anyway, that's probably it for the moment, so cheerio.